Hey, everyone, it's Race Robinson, your favorite Florida mortgage broker. And I wanted to do just a little bit of explanation on this self-employment loan program. This is a bank statement loan where we use bank statements to qualify for a home loan, or it's called a bank statement home loan program. And what we actually do is take a 12 or 24 month average of bank statements to figure out the borrower's income instead of using tax returns and pay stubs. Now this is not gonna work for everyone. You can't be a W-2 client. You're gonna have to be self-employed, which is defined as owning or been, been in business for at least two years or longer, or owning 25% or more of the business. Most of these you're gonna need at least a 640 credit score or higher. And the minimum down payment, even if you've got really strong credit and assets is going to be 10%. For a lot of clients, it might end up being 20% down. It's really going to depend. Every situation is unique for these particular programs. Often you're going to need some kind of reserves. Reserves are, um, you know, if the payment's $2,500 a month, the bank may require three months reserves. So on top of the down payment, you need those three months payments, which could be, you know, $7,500. So there's probably going to be some kind of reserve requirement. And in general, I would say this program can run 1% to 2% higher than whatever normal rates are. But taking somebody that's self-employed, like myself, who's writing off everything possible to pay less taxes, the, the trade-off is you can still pay way less taxes, maybe have a little bit higher mortgage statement, but not have to do anything crazy to qualify other than just you know showing bank statements. We can do personal or business bank statements usually 12 or 24 months. And the way the average works, they don't just actually average it outright. They are going to throw out any excessively large deposits. So, you know, if you deposit six to $8,000 a month on average, and then you've got this $25,000 deposit, they're probably not going to allow that. They're going to look at what you normally, they're kind of trying to look at what the cash flow is going through your business. Again, it can be personal or business. Um, Bank statements, we don't need tax returns or pay stubs. I wrote that sometimes we can use prepayment penalties on these to offset the cost, may bring the rate down some. Um, again, 640 credit score, 43% DTI, works really good for primary homes and second homes. And again, on these particular programs, we like to take the buyer to way past, just pre-qualified and get them fully, fully approved up front. So whether it's you, yourself, or you're a real estate agent watching this and you got a client that's self-employed, we'll go the extra mile, make sure that they're fully pre-approved, they know exactly what they qualify for, exactly what the rates are, and then that way they're not wondering and they're fully ready to go just like they were a regular conventional buyer. So if you have any questions on this particular program or any situation, reach out to me, I'd love to help. It's Race Robinson, I'll talk to you soon.